Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mercedes and this is the She Critiques platform where we discuss new and old classic and modern day cinema. And if you're joining with me and you've been tuning in, you know that we are counting down my 101 films that you must see in your lifetime. Okay, we are coming in with number 26 today and I think we're going to shuffle the deck for now. Okay, so let's choose a random film from my DVD collection that I don't have any notes on. So we're just going to have to go with it. All right, let me choose one. Let me close my eyes. And let's go to the, let's go to the back. Let's get this one. I didn't peek, but you can see it before I can. Can you see what it says? Ooh, okay. This is the Spike Lee Joint Collection. Spike Lee Joint Collection. Look at Spike. I know that's right. Do the right thing, Spike. Let's go ahead and talk do the right thing, okay? Because this actually has a host of films. So I might have to put it back in the deck for another shuffle too. But um, I think we're going to start with do the right thing. Let's talk about that one first. So uh, do the right thing. I believe it came out in 88. 89. Do the Right Thing came out in 1989. It's directed by Spike Lee and it stars a host of folks. We got Rosie Perez, Danny Aiello, uh, Spike Lee himself, Samuel Jackson, Juan Carr Esposito, Joey Lee, Ruby D, Ossie Davis, Bill Nunn. Oh my God. Roger Smith, Rick Aiello. Who am I forgetting? John Tur Tur Turoro? John Turoro. Don't quote me. Anyway, Do the Right Thing is classic, classic cinema. So this is, um, okay, what's the premise of Do the Right Thing? You have, uh, I mean, it's the middle of Brooklyn. It's the middle of summer in Brooklyn, New York City. And Spike Lee is giving us a, a bird's eye view into his neighborhood. What happens um, in Brooklyn, New York uh, when it's hot and people are, it's sweltering heat and people are at their wits end and race is the focal point. So, of course, New York City is a melting pot. Uh, Brooklyn, New York at the time, not that it was segregated, but they had their areas where, you know, the Latinos hung with the Latinos, black people hung with the black people, but they all coexisted. So, um, Spike gives us, he's so good at that and making New York City a character in the film. You know, like it is, it's where we are. Yes, it's the place, it's the location, but he he gives you such a bird's eye view that you feel like New York City is like another character within the film. So you're following his character, Mookie, um, as he works for a pizza shop. And pretty much the heat just kind of gets to all of the people, you know, like the air conditions have broken. Um, people are in the streets, they're busting fire hydrants to get water. And how the how the pressure cooker of the environment kind of brings people to an all-time high and now they're at each other's necks and at each other's throat and maybe the things that they wanted to say or the frustrations that have built up it's like now's the time to kind of act on that because they've had enough you know when you get to your breaking point so it is um it is so smartly done it's so smartly written to just um he has a way of doing that, Spike does. He has a way of putting the medicine in the candy or like putting the message in the film where you're entertained by watching the film, but you're also getting this history lesson. You're getting, um, you know, racial tension, uh, especially during this time, 1989. That was really pushing the envelope and, and really, um, you know, uh, breaking the, the narrative a little bit of what a black filmmaker should be creating. I mean, Spike is like... I mean, Spike is just, you just hold him near and dear to the heart, don't you? I know I do. I call him Uncle Spike because he is like my crazy uncle. Like Spike Lee will just make films that are just so um, in your face, you know, just so impactful. And they just make statements. He makes statement pieces about race, about culture, about black people, about New York City. Like he's just such a brilliant director you have to respect the man for what he's done and what he continues to do so do the right thing is definitely on my list of 101 films that you must see in your lifetime and if i hadn't said it already this is number 26 so number 26 do the right thing on my 101 
films that you must see <laughs> in your lifetime. Somebody go on and write me a tagline because I clearly don't have one. <laughs> I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.